Hello everyone. Welcome to the world of Falcon BMS. I know with the uh, addition of the new 4.37, we have a lot of new people to the community. And I would like to take this time this evening to go through a little campaign uh, package creation for newer people who are maybe getting bored with the single player ATO creating their missions for them and want to find out something a little more fun and uh, make up your own stuff as you go along. So with the new launcher here, we're just going to get into the game. Okay, so we're flying Lorix uh, Korea Theater. Uh, this is going to be the Papa. He's got a, a, a mic and a Papa version, but this is the Papa. And so we're going to go here to Campaign, Save. And this is our mission that we're, uh, we're up to. So it's Day 2, 1300 Zulu, with a local time of 2200 about 10 p.m. So we got a, a night mission coming up. Ought to be interesting. Set here. So under the squadron, I have uh, taken away the check mark for set by HQ. So I'm fragging my own missions. So at this time. There's nothing going on. Uh, I have sent out a few bar caps here recently to try and quell some of the air threats that seem to be buzzing here pretty uh, frequently. Looks like they got a little uh, reinforcement of some MiG-29s recently. So uh, these are these guys have been showing up in a lot of uh, uh, MiG-21s and MiG-15s, J-5s. So what we want to do is these guys have come up and taken over this town here. And this little trail of troops is coming up behind them, marching towards Seoul. And these guys up here were over here and they're running around. And I don't know if they're running away or if they're trying to do an end around and come in behind my guys. So I'm going to do a little BAI. Fragging here, a little air interdiction, interdiction. Let's see if we can slow some of these down. Uh, for the remaining troops, we can check their status and a T-55 tanks and their support vehicles. So nothing too heavy, nothing too bad. Uh, all the uh, air defenses around here have been taken out. A little SA-15 is hiding out over here. And as you can see, there's some back over here as well. So let's jump right in. So we're going to right click on here. And we're going to add a package. This over here. So I want to take off in about an hour from now. So 14, 15. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the clock. And select takeoff time as 14.15. So we're going to bump this up like so. Oop. Right. Click new. Pick our jet, which is the F-16A Block 15. In this theater and campaign that we're in, this is an Iron Fortress classic. Uh, we're... We're flying a uh, a hybrid F-16A. Uh, of course, they don't have an F-16A cockpit, but uh, it doesn't have TGP, uh, IFF interrogators. Uh, IDM is not available, so we don't ping our other jets around us, stuff like that. So it's uh, it's really kind of old school and uh, a little bit difficult. All right, so we got the jet. We're doing an AI. Uh, we want four jets here in our flight, and we're with the uh, 14th Fighter Squadron right here. 
and I'm going to fly Ace level characters. And we're flying out of Kusan. Kusan, Kusan. Changed it up recently. Try to get used to that. All right. So there's that. So what I want to do now is uh, frag a tar cap to sit in this general area here. And wheel around and hopefully protect us from these characters over here which i hope for out of the area before we get over there because it uh, quite a nuisance so we're going to click new again block 16s we're going to do a tar cap down here towards the bottom and only want two jets there and the 14th and ace level is good for those guys because I want them to be able to fight good. And okay. So now we have our AI and our tar cap. Of course, everybody's laid on top of each other here. So we'll figure that out in a minute. Okay. All right. So let's click our flight. This is the one I'm going to be leading. So let's go ahead and click that seat. Alright, since we're going to be looking for stuff in this general area here, let's put out some steer point lines so we can see that on our HSD when we get there. We know where these uh, roads are and such. So, set lines. There's our first point. Additional. And we'll just draw a little box here that we can move around. Additional. Come on up here. Click on it. Okay, now we got us a box for our targets of opportunity. So let's get down here past this air airstrip. So I know they're moving in this general area here. So let's bring it on like here. Get one more line in here. Additional. Yeah. Let's uh make some type of strange polygon here that encompasses all of this area you know that they're they're going to be in this area somewhere okay now we're going to move our steer points into the box here so we know where everybody's at there right now Oh, what I was going to show you was before you start moving your points around, make sure we we'll start with number two here so we can start. Our takeoff time is locked, and that's what we selected the frag with. So everything else should be unlocked, which it is. Okay, so that allows the steer points to move freely and adjust times and uh, air speeds and stuff like that so you don't... Uh, run into problems where you can't do box six to get to the next steer point. All right, so Gunsan is a north-south runway, and we don't know which way we're taking off yet until we get in the jet. So I like to set my steer point two out here at uh, Tulsi so I can fly over to it, take off, hook a 90, and get over there to it. Uh, steer point three is our hold, and uh, we're going to set that one at, uh, let's see, I got it written here, uh, the bridge northeast of Tulsi, which is right here. So, so that's going to be our hold point. And steer four is our push, and whoop, we're going to drag it up here to this city. So that's where we're going to be pushing from. Everybody's going to get through there. Now, seven, this can be my on the egress. Um, I like to put it generally a little over 30 miles so that I know when I hit it, I'm within that 30 mile range to kick over to uh, the uh, approach frequencies. And we're going to set it over here at. Uh, 
Petro. Right there. All right. Let's look at the altitudes here. 21,000 feet. So we're going to take off and hit 21,000 feet. That's a little obnoxious. So let's cut that back to about 10. There. Uh, three for the hold. We could probably hold at about, you know, 15 is good. Yeah. All right, and then four, we ought to be jumping up. Yep, 21. And once we get over here to uh, five and six, which is our area of responsibility that we're going to be working in, 16, that's fine. Okay, so we'll click out of that. Now, now I want to adjust the uh, tar cap. So same thing here. Let's double check, make sure everybody's unlocked. So one is locked at takeoff. Everybody is set good. And a 20 minute patrol time, which is fine for what we're doing here. So we'll set this here again at Tulsi. Here at this bridge. Four goes up here to the city. And seven is up here at Petro. Which is a little farther than 30, but that's, you know, three miles. You're doing three quarters of a mock. Don't take very long. All right, so up here, we don't want this nonsense here. So we want to fly to here. And then I want my guys, oh, sorry about that, to then fly with their radars pointing back towards bad guy land. So about a 20 mile, 15, 20 mile wheel here around pretty quick here and that'll be away from anything bad going on here so again we're going to check the altitudes that's a little ridiculous let's have him go up to 11 turn it to 11 it's a little uh, and three not 21,000 See, we were at 11, so let's put him at 12. Somewhere around there. 12 area, yep. Uh, four. Then they can jump up and hit their high points. Okay. All right, so they're all set. All right, with Lark's campaign, we'll show you with the tar cap here. Um... Uh, we're kind of stuck with uh, some sidewinders and uh, sparrows. There's there's no amrams, no targeting pods. So again, old school, uh, late 80s, early 90s, F-16 business here. But it looks good for them. So four heaters, two radars, be all right. And as for us, what are we going to do? We are going to use some uh, triple rack. I know it's not, it's not real, but, you know, playing a game, we're having fun. Uh, of course, the uh, sparrows only fit on this pylon. So we only have heaters. So if there's anybody out there that, you know, we don't want to mess with, we, we got, you got to get within visual range. And we don't want to do that against these uh, 29s, definitely, because they're going to have uh, bigger sticks than us. So we may wind up having to hang around out here in our own backyard until they scoot on. So we're going to use Mavericks. Uh, the AI is generally really good with uh, putting steel on target with those and it being dark. I want to 
maximize my my kills here. Let's stick with that. Looks good. All right. So we got our uh, we got our flight plans set up. We got our weapons chosen. Uh, we have steer point lines running along here. This is the flight. You can see here. Uh, let's drag this one out just a little more here. Cast our uh, stops right there. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to confuse everything here on the HSD. It's everything. The old uh, Block 15s we're in have monochrome green screens, so we don't get the advantage of the color in MF MFDs. So it all will look the same. Um, one little trick I learned several years ago was uh, put a steer point up here, way up north, for a, a you know for a line, and then have my middle point here on bullseye, and then I have a shorty leg coming out over here. So on HSD, I have a quick reference of what. Uh, what quadrant what is in when AWACS gives me a call. On the color MFDs, I have these a different color, so I can just look at it pretty quickly and make a determination with this here. It's still graphically representative. It's north and east, so I can kind of get a quick bearing. So I've got some bad guys coming in from the northwest over here. Not much going on over here, so I'm trying to stay away from that right now. And my troops are really pushing towards Seoul. So that's what we got right there. So let me take this opportunity. I'm going to hit a little bump in it here. A few seconds to run. And we're going to do a quick save. We'll call this one uh, battle. Click on something to type. Learning to frag. There we go. Save. Hot dog. All right. So now we can stop the clock again. All right. So we're back over here. I am the lead of Hammer 6. And the tar cap is Mustang 4. So we got our weapons done. We got our uh, flat plan ready. So let's go ahead and go into the data cartridge and do our click dance. So we're here. All my MFDs and uh, countermeasures are already set up. You know, got everything like I want them. Uh, don't generally change. So comms. And we're going to uh, save comp plan. IFF, IFF plan, and save. And there's that. So it's saved. Close that. All right. So at this point, check my notes, see what we got going on here. Uh, Let's see what the briefing says. All right, listen up. All right, listen up here in the middle so we're going to be package number 2937 taking off at uh, 1415 oh, oh that's one thing I forgot yes haha -ha. go back over to tar cap I want them taking off five minutes before me so so they go ahead and get set up so click on easy one to do is click on one and then set it for 1410. 1410, and there's the adjustment. Okay, so now they're taking off five minutes before me. All right. So when we get up, we get in a hold, circle around, they go out at their uh, push time, get set up, then I'll push, and I'll come in underneath them and uh, do the dirty work. Well, hopefully they fend off anybody 
that might be coming from this direction. All right, so back in here, let me go ahead and save and do all that fun stuff again, just to make sure here. Uh, the clock, wait for a couple seconds here. Things to start moving. All right, there we go now. And I'm going to go ahead and save the data cartridge since I've done some adjustments here. Comms. Save. Close. And we'll do another save. We'll do a save as learning to frag. Override it. Of course. All right. Now we can stop the clock. Go back to our debrief. All right, listen up. Jog my memory. Okay. So here we're going to have our comm plan ready. Uh, Sentry 4 is going to be our AWACS. Texaco 5, if we need them, uh, is a taker. And they are down here on the map right here. And I have two steer points set between his uh, waypoints, so I know generally where he is when I look at the ATSD and put my cursor out there. I can find the jet somewhere in this area. Generally, he's flying about 24,000 feet. At about 330 knots. Pretty easy to pick up once you know where they're at. So I don't know if we're going to get gas on this one or not. Depends on how much uh, afterburning we need to get away from these guys. So checking the weather. Uh, sunny, 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 sunny. That doesn't seem right, but it probably is. Uh, there's one way to find out. Uh, going into... Data, uh, add on work, campaign, Papa, our updated weather maps and previews. And these are some files I gathered from F, uh, F4 WX, F4 weather app. I got uh, you know, 17 days of data here and we're at 2.13. So we scroll around through here, find 213, and it looks fairly clear in the area that we're going to be in. A little cloud cover here, but uh, nothing bad, but fair skies. Okay. That's just a little extra stuff that uh, goes on in the background when you get uh, used to doing all this, and you can add some more tools. So, so the weather's going to be okay. Shouldn't have any problems uh, getting the Mavericks locked up on some goodies and uh, blowing up some tanks. Okay. So everybody saved, DTT saved, and we're stopped. So now we're going to open up uh, our uh, WDP, Weapon Delivery Planner, down here. Hello, Quasi. Hello to you. And we're loading up. All right, here we go. Hey, there we are. I went ahead and uh, cleaned out the kneeboard, so we're going to set up a kneeboard and show you how to do that uh, with some uh, some files I have. Okay, so we want to start with the, the campaign we're in. So open up a mission. And we are in Lorik's campaign papa. And we need to scroll through here till we find our cam file. Learning to frag. Open. Uh, Lork on the uh, forums says to click yes to this dialog box. So yes. On his page, download the campaign. There we go. And now we're going to plug in our Frag number here, 2973, or 37, there's my dyslexia, apologize, 2937, and find, and we are Amber 6, and I have saved my DTC, yes, default should be no, I've never, no, I've always saved it. All right, and here's all our goodies. So, first thing we'll do here, 
I like to plug in my Joker. Uh, for this flat, we're pretty close to home, so 3,500. Uh, 1,500 bingo, that sounds good. That at least gives to a tanker if we need to, to, to get some gas. Uh, we're Hammer 6. The AI Mustang 4 is our tar cap. Um, with WDP and s single player, it's a little different on your uh, tech end for your uh, intra flat here. So um, my wingman, to tie to him, I'm going to be 63 added to this. So 85 Yankee. And that's what you'll plug in your DED uh, to tie off to your wingman. Um, which is all your goodies about uh, takeoff time, uh, when to push. That's always a good one to, to know what time you need to be at uh, steer point four down here. Uh, some of this stuff is weird um, with this here because. Uh, Move it off to the side and get our briefing up here. Listen up. Because um, our tanker is Texaco 5. And it puts it as the second one. So I always like to kind of come through here and blank out this. And put Texaco 5 up here. I got to blank him first. Of course, he's not showing up now. Get that just oh here you got to uh blank it well this is curious see it it doesn't work sometimes but I know the information here we're gonna type it in um looking at this over here it's gonna be uh uniform thirteen and sixty Yankee so I'll go ahead and put that in here uh six zero Yankee. It's uh, strange that it doesn't let me uh, select the taker. Oh, I bet I know what's going on. Let's go back to the map real quick. Uh, click on the taker. Check his... Uh, yeah, he's out of time. Okay, so I have another, another tanker, copper 5. That's what it's showing. I, will, I go in and schedule up the tankers and put them where I want to because they, they'll have them way down here, just completely out of the way. And nothing's really coming through now that's uh, affecting these guys. And I've got enough uh, another enough uh, defensive caps coming from this carrier group out here, F4s and such, to kind of protect them. So I've never, I hadn't even had one get shot down yet or anything like that. So I just keep them down here below my air base, just... So I can hit the tank real quick, maybe get a couple thousand pounds, then go land if I'm running low. So, okay, so Copper 5 is going to be the uh, the tanker when we get up there. Uh, coming home, definitely. Because by the time this tanker gets over to here, the new tank will be on station. That's the way I generally kind of plan them. It's just a little bit of lull in between but uh not too bad all right so the copper five or three select that's what's showing up here so i see that in the map now uh and his tech in will be on here too so we'll use the map for that uh and his uh frequency is uh we're probably going to have to wind up plugging that in if we need to use it because it's not going to be my uniform 13 because my jet's going to be landing by the time i get out of here and that's one of the strange things about bms and wdp is i don't know they sometimes don't like to get together on that all right so let's go here to the map and Move it around, put it in here where we want, be like that. You can see the little area here that I've got drawn out uh, along with the flight and my northeast arrows here, basically. And here's the uh, the flat pan or the, the 
taker spot and I've got the, the point set for the waypoints of that as well. So he's on station at thirteen twenty five. So uh yeah, he's gonna be he's gonna be there about an hour before we get there. Alright. Data card back here. Okay, everything's set up there. Uh we're using Mavericks. Uh so we need to get uh pilot list here. It's always fun. Uh there's me. Where am I at? I just saw me and then I blew by it. Ah. There I am. General Wazi. Uh who's my wingman today? Um uh, Barney McFly. Captain McFly. He'll be there. Oop, yep. Uh Element Lead. Who we got here? Uh it's gotta be somebody cool. Eddie Van Halen, yep. And his wingman will be G.I. Freaking Joe. Yeah, okay. So there we go. So everybody's ready to fly. Looks like a motley crew to go take out some some uh, old Russian tanks here. All right, so now we're going to set our knee, pad, knee boards up. I hope I don't need to set some knee pads up. That's too much work. Uh, and... All right, so they're all blank, like I mentioned earlier. We're gonna fill these in. Uh, gonna browse pictures, and I have a file that already got a lot of this stuff in. But I like to uh, get my cover sheets on first. It's the first thing that shows up when we uh, get in the pit, and that's gonna go on one. Picture. And this one goes into on the right side. There we go. So the uh, sixth fighter wing, 669th virtual fighter squadron. Uh, that's who I like to fly with. That's the buddies. The uh, Ripper and Prime uh, Aviation Plus. I know his videos. Several others. Old Craig, uh, Bible Clinger. Bunch of new and old alike. Uh, roadie. Yeah. So now we're going to go here, and I want to pick the uh, a data card left for the next one, and data card right over here. Uh, next thing we're going to do is get our uh, departing airport chart. There. Oops, that's the parking one. You don't want to do that. Uh, ground chart. Yep, there we go. So this will show the uh, taxiways and uh, runways and stuff. So now I want to put in uh, parking spots. So you can use BMS now comes with the new parking, but uh, it's so small that we can't hardly see it. So what I've done. Is I've gone in and blown them up and resaved them as PNGs, cropped it out a little bit here. As you can see now, when you zoom in, you can see what spot number you're at. So we're going to put that in four. Insert that one. And in five, other parking spots. We don't know which side we're taking off from, so we landing at. This will be five. Now I want to insert. Uh, oh, what are we going to put in there now? We're going to put in our uh, ILS approaches for. Well, let's put them after we set our. Uh, no, 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 no. You're right. Um, sorry. Browse pictures. I'm going to go to uh, documents. And I'm going to snag the I ILS charts for goods on out and put them in here next. In case something bad happens, you never know. And they stay with you from mission to mission, so you don't have to do this unless you change air bases. So, okay, so now we have, uh, uh, we want our ILS 180 right here. 
It's going to go in six. And you want your ILS on 360 if there is one. So we'll go back and look. Uh, pa, 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 pa. ILS 360. Here it is. This will have all your frequencies and goodies. That, uh, put that on seven right there. So we have our ILS charts. In case it clouds in, fogs in something, we'll at least be able to get on the runway. Okay, now we want our uh, our alternate uh, ground chart here. And I'm not too worried about the parking at alternate. Uh, if things go really that south, I'm just going to get off the runway and <laughs> exit out of the game. It's just not going to be conducive to me being happy. Uh, okay, so go back in here. Uh, WDP, kneeboard images, get these all saved. And I want to put uh, the threat guide stuff here next. So that's going to be there. Okay, so I need to go browse back over there. Oops, that's the wrong one. Sorry. Images. And we want. Uh, a DDS file, so it's going to be a little different. That one right there. This will go in nine. And then put it in over here. And this is uh, our ECM chart, uh, so we know got certain threats or something, we know what uh, program to use. Hopefully don't have to use that right now. I think I'm pretty good right now for that. So over here, so we got our data Card, data card for our right knee. I like to put in the uh, the map next, and then next is the uh, airport schedule. So I know who's taking off when they you start chatting it up. You'll know who's ahead of you. All right. Um, target list. We don't deal with those right now because we're it's mainly for the spy stuff uh, for the Israel theater. All right. So now we can put in some more pages I've made up now. So browse the pictures. Go back to uh, PNGs. Uh, let's put in our, this is uh, for goodies for uh, extra runways and stuff. If we get lost or whatever, you can always check your electronic flight bag and so this is the TACAN channels for some, the bigger bases in, in South Korea. I like to throw them in here. Uh, let's put that in, uh, this is five. Insert that. And we'll just run through the list here. Uh, this is uh, more frequencies and goodies for other air bases. We're going six. It's just a bunch of stuff you don't have to go hunting for if things go bad. This goes in seven. And you just kind of just click through one page at a time. So now we've got our airport info. Okay. Now we can get some threat stuff going on here. Browse pictures. Uh, we're not carrying harms, so we don't really need to put the harms up here. Uh, we've got some checklists we can throw in. So sure, why not? Sounds fun. Checklist there. And a couple more checklists here. Sir, there's one more here. Goes at 11. There we go. All right. But the only other thing I see is uh, this one here. It shows the uh, formations. It's always nice to have. You can look somebody, especially playing multiplayer. Somebody says go whatever. You could just flip to this page if you're not familiar. And we're going to put it in the 10 on the left side. There. 
Okay, so our formations are there. Very nice. All right. So go back down through here. Data card. Departure. Parking spots. So you know where you're at and where you need to go when you land. Uh, ILS charts in case the weather's bad. Alternate in case you need to land there. Gives the information on that one. And that's the ECM chart and formations. And so there's our cover sheet. Data card on the right knee. Map. Schedule. Air, airport information to get you where you want to go. Uh, some checklists here. And uh, that's enough for that. So several pages left. We can put some more goodies in there if we want to make up stuff later. So we want to save now. And hopefully it don't crash. As the wheel turns. Keyboard saved. Good. All right. Now, if you're making up an online campaign or something like that, you could uh, you could save the data cards, and uh, then you can hand those or email those out. You know, put them in a cloud drive or something, and transfer them around the world. Uh, of course, it won't have your your knee boards, so people will make their own knee boards up. But uh, let's take a look real quick about that. Uh, learning to frag. Okay. Uh, hammer six, save. Yeah, I'll show you what it looks like here real quick. Like everybody was saved there. Uh, here's hammer six, and here's the. We'll just fly through some of these real quick here. There's your data, uh, data card, uh, file. No, 1988 file. This is, I think, for the. Um, for the Mirage, if I remember right. Um, uh, this one, I believe, is for the F-16s. The 8019 file. Um, that's your basic one, so I don't know what that is. Uh, JPEG. Uh, this is some more stuff here. I don't really... There's the map. Targets, we don't have any of those. There's our charts basic stuff uh, it's all scrambled not really looking good there all right i don't want to bore you with all that so now we got our knee boards made up we've got our data cards made up really not much more information we need to put in here since we're just doing a quick little uh ai flight over here of course it's going to be dark so just need to pay attention to stuff um, it's showing that we're taking off on runway 36, so sometimes when you get there, the wind has changed and uh, it's not correct. But we'll see when we get there. All right, so we've saved the knee board, so now we're good to close this out, because I'm not going to save. I'm not saving that. All right. So what do we got? We're ready to go. Got our flight here. At 30 minutes before takeoff, these will populate with your pilots. Um, same here. So uh, we're saved up. Uh, we've click danced, so we're all good. So I like to advance the time now till about uh, 30 minutes before takeoff. So at uh, 1340, I'll do another save. So about 8x here. Maybe bump it up to 16. I'll be all right. See where those uh, big 29s go. Now they're all flying home, which is always a good thing. Especially when I don't have uh, some sticks to chuck at them. Kind of keep an eye on these guys here, see what they're doing. 20 more minutes here. Ah, see these guys popped up here. The old uh, E8. So picking up some troops, which is good. Now they're moving back and forth. So maybe they'll stay up here in these mountains. This will be fun to find them. We use the uh, ground mapping radar. Or the, uh, yeah. For the 
the movement that's when ground moving radar to uh, pick those guys up and there's to make 23 circling around out here always fun All right, eight more minutes here yeah they're they're heading on to the east here pretty good these guys seem to be just hanging out up here so that might be something to A couple more minutes right here at 1340. And all right, so we're going to hit it at one. Let it calm down for a second. Kind of wonder where that MiG-23 went. All right, we'll do one more save. I just saved that as a, a different day, but that's fine. <laughs> Go in here and learning to frag. Here we go. Save it. Okay. Yep. All right. So now what left to do? Now is to uh, take off. Either ramp or taxi. Uh, I'm going to ramp start and um, uh, make sure everything's up and running right. I like doing that better than taxi because it just seems like you're, you're rushed to hurry up. So I'd rather do a ramp and uh, take my time. I always feel like you're more involved with the flight if you do a ramp start. You really don't want to get out there and hot rod and lose your airframe if you've spent that much time starting the jet. So, uh, so right now, since we got it saved, everybody's ready to go. Uh, I'm going to exit out of here and um, get everything fired up. Voice attack, track IR, a little uh, server thing here for the ICP I run. Uh, and I'll meet you after ramp when we're taxiing. And through the power of television, we are now on the ramp. Started up. We are waiting for final alignment of our INS to start flashing here. Everything's set up. Ready to go. Uh, there's our tar cap Mustang 4 about to take off. Five minutes before us. Yep. There we go, a line. So let's click that. There we go. And now our flight plan is in under on the ATSD. Let's kind of recap what we're going to do. We'll zoom in here. There we go. So we're going to fly out to two over here. Uh, at three, there's a bridge that we put the waypoint over. So I'm going to use that to foresight my Mavericks uh, with the FCR page, or FCR with the weapons page. Since we don't have a TGP, and that'll give us some type of alignment. So when we get to the the area over here to play, uh, then we'll uh, be able to quickly collimate between what we see on the ground versus what we see on our FCR. And here's the bullseye lot, so we're going to fence in when we hit uh, about four-ish, somewhere in here, if nothing's going on. And let's get this uh, show on the road here. DMS over here. Okay. So let's... Uh, Called a taxi. Boots on ground, Hammer 6, warship F 16s. Request taxi for departure. Good evening, Hammer 6. You are number one for departure. Taxi Alpha, then hold short runway 36. Right, taxi Alpha, hold short runway 36. Hammer 6. Remove chalks. And one's taxi. And from our parking chart here, taking off on runway 36, we're right here on the spot 59. So we're here we go. Okay. 
go ahead and uh, turn back some of these interior lights a little bit. For those of y'all that uh, are staying with me from the fragging into the actual execution of the plan, thank you. We'll see what we can get done. Try not to get shot down too much. <laughs> And maybe uh, get some of them tanks. Hammer 6 holding short, runway 36. Hammer 6 1, contact tower for takeoff. Switch to 2 9 2 3 0. Switch tower, Hammer 6. And, oops. Had it on the wrong spot there on the DED. You know, let me get back over there. That's steer point 2. And preset three. There we go. Okay. So we'll do our EOR checks here. Uh, IFF on. Uh, strobe is on. Seat is hot. And radar altimeter is on. And we can turn back the dial on that. Okay. Q&H was set earlier from the weather report. Uh, radar is quiet right now, so let me turn that on. There we go. And we'll call the takeoff. Goods on tower. Hammer 6. Ready for departure. Hammer 6, Coons on tower, wing 340 at 6 knots, runway 36. You are cleared for takeoff. Hammer six, hold short. Hold short or take off? What do we do? I think we'll take off. Hammer six, clear for takeoff, runway three six. Now, once we get airborne, uh, we'll switch over to air to ground get those Mavericks warming up so by the time I get around to three to the bridge they'll be ready to go so here we go set up right here bricks alright one set okay run up And bricks. And gate. Those will off. Hammer 6-1, contact departure. All right. Yeah, I know I took off without... Two, airborne. Proper light there. Apologize. All right, two's up. So we're just continuing to fly Hammer, straight out. Hammer 6-1, contact departure. Okay. Hammer 6, push departure. Try to, uh... Hammer, 6-2, on my way. We'll cruise around this way. Let the element take off. Get my speed down. The two will be able to catch up to me. There he is over there, flash. Four gets up, we'll 
call that we are up. There's Four, one. airborne. Goods on departure, hammer six. Flight Two, airborne. in position. Hammer six, going on. Hammer six, three. Flight All right, one zero zero. Resume on navigation. Uh, depart heading one zero zero. Resume on. Hammer six, push tackle. Hammer six four. On. Okay. So we're lined up with the runway, so let's level out. Climb up to about 10,000. Head over to uh, Steer 2. Uh, here to ground. SMS power on. so far and there's three and four out there flashing slow down a little bit for them here uh, one thing we didn't do set this here Light set, bingo. Two. Three. Ten thousand. Four. Okay. And I wanted to bump this up to fourteen thousand. Altitude. Altitude. Okay. to keep their lights on for now. Light fence out. Three. Okay. Two. Fence out. Four. Fence out. Okay. Thank you all very much. Mustang 4-1. Package marshaled. Okay. So he hasn't gone off on some wild goose chase yet. Which is good. So here comes steer two, so we'll just fly over here a little bit. And once we get confirmation... Three, in position. ...that our Mavericks are turned on, we will, uh... ...go over to three. There they are. Okay, so let's bump up to three here. Get over here to steer points. And hammer six, reference steer three. Get over here to the weapons page. All right, there we go. Doing good in the neighborhood. All right, so. Four, in position. There's our bridge that we're on, kind of on top of, so we can zoom in a little bit here. The DBS-2. And we're going to TMS up on that. Alright, go to SIM. We'll lose too Mustang much Mustang 4-1, package departing push point. Alright, so they're on their way out. And we're on our way in. Alright, so now i got to find this bridge. 
There it is. 15 miles away, so let's wait for a little bit. Hit the drift button on the ICP to center up our FPM. Pretty windy up here. There we go. Get a little more altitude. 11 miles out. Right here. So once we're the carrot is in the uh, bracket here for these Mavs. Uh, They'll be ready to fire, but we're just going to go ahead and lock up now. Ten miles ought to get it. There we go. Get more sight. It doesn't matter that the cross is flashing right now. Uh, you don't want to fire that. That's a bad solution. Uh, now there it goes. So, um... To, uh, use missile step. There we go. Get our next one. And Borsat. And we're ready. So. Mustang 4, Sentry 4, be advised, hostile aircraft bearing 3, 4, 5, 2, 3, 4,000. Okay, so he's going to send off on a wild gooch chase northwest of the, bull, the bulls. So our Mustang flight, it's probably going to be gone bye bye. Right, so we're going to change master modes here. Cancel. And uh, that drops all the locks. So we're good there. Get out of air to ground. And let's see. At steer four. We're ready to go. We've already met our target time. So let's uh, get some airspeed up. Get to the target. Go ahead and get some altitude. Uh, got some uh, some people hiding out up here. Looks like Mustang Four Century Four. Be advised, hostile aircraft bearing three four five one four three thousand. Mustang Four One engaging. Rob three five five one seven nineteen thousand. Something right in there that our tar cap is now after. But we're supposed to be over here. But oh well. Maybe they'll run them away. Mustang 4 1, engaging target Rock 0551319000. Let's see what this is here. Sentry 4, Hammer 6 1, declare. Okay. Hammer six one century four contact is friendly. So these strobers here. Hopefully this is our good guys. RWR showing some good, good guy spikes. Right, I'm gonna sit Mustang on. four century four. Be advised, hostile aircraft bearing three three five one six twenty five thousand. It's real busy over here. Let's just stay away from that. Let's call out a, a threat and see what's going on over there. Sentry 4, Hammer 6-1, request bogey dope. Hammer 6-1, Sentry 4, nearest threat, bullseye, three one five. Six five twenty one thousand. Dragging hostile contact ID as mid twenty nine. Yeah, it could stay up there then. Mustang four one engaging target rock three four five four twenty two thousand. Ooh. Okay. Let's go ahead and turn on the Acme. See what's going on. I forgot to do it earlier. Mustang four one 
There we go. Flight fits Mustang, in. Mustang, four, century, four, be advised, hostile aircraft bearing, one, Two. three, five, one, twenty-three thousand. Three. Turn their lights off here. Four. Alright, so we fit in. Everybody turn their lights out. Mustang 4-1, engaging target Rob 2-2-0-2-30,000. 30,000? What are they chasing? See, we don't have any IDM, so I can't uh, tie off to those guys to see what they're doing back over there or where they're at. Uh, I kind of know that they're in this this area here around the bullseye, really close. Mustang 4, Century 4, SAR package en route. Oh, one well, of them got shot down. It's always nice. See any fireballs way out there? Bad when you get a bogey dope call from, uh, you know, forever far away, and they're getting shot down right here. Yeah, I'm only 25 miles from the bullseye. But we're not getting any crazy spikes on the RWR there. Alright, so we're 45 miles away. And we're doing alright. Alright, 25 miles. Let's go ahead and point our nose in that direction there. Alright. Head to ground. Head to ground. There we go. Start looking around here, see what we got. Six. And there wasn't nothing here. No towns or nothing that I remember. Let's look here and see. Pretty sure this is troops. Let's turn on our Mavs. See what we got here. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. This is nice. Okay. Let's go with the moving car here. Let's see what difference we got. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, let's get my guys interested in this. Three attack targets. Three, Wilco. Four, you got it. And uh, F-16s around everywhere. This is good. This is good. Uh, okay. Let's see what else we got here. Send uh, Marty McFly out here. It's behind the mountain or something. Yeah, there they are. All right. Strange that I can see them behind the mountain. Two attack targets. Two. Wilco. Someone 
do my own here. Can't really tell what these are. Oh, that's some tanks. That's what we're doing. Let's try and catch him. We are way up here in space. It does not want to, uh... Altitude. Altitude. Yeah. Rifle! Rifle! One's off cold. Rifle! it's best just to get off come back around rather than try to uh, get a man pad there's a fire there we go so let's uh, get back on them now Right, so he knows where they're at now, so this is good. Two weapons free, ground. Two, Wilco. Guys, sitting on top of the mountain out here. Hammer six three on my way. Hammer six four on my way. Three request permission to engage ground targets. So now three four request permission to engage ground targets. Three weapons free ground. Two running in. All right, three will go. Four, you got it. Arm. Fire. Rifle. Chap, flare, chap, flare. Chap, flare. Send off one flare in time here. Climb out. Three, in. Four, in. Two, pumping. 
One's in. Three is off the nose. That's not good. Okay. Um, Century four, hammer six one. Request bogey dope. Hammer six one, Century four, nearest threat. Route two eight zero one six nine thousand. Hot hostile contact ID as mid twenty threes two shift. Three M. Two clear by six. Mid 23, 3 o'clock, very high. Break low. Break low. Four, rolling in hot. Century 4, Hammer 6 1. Request bogey dope. Rifle! Hammer 6 1, Century 4, nearest threat. Route 2, 9, 0, 1, 5, 12,000. Hot, hostile, contact ID. Mid 23s, 2 ship. Century 4, Hammer 6 1. Request help. Rifle! Hammer 6. Century four, looking for fighters. Three rejoin. Four out. Hammer six three on my way. Hammer six four on my way. Fox two. Century 4, Hammer 6 1, declare. Hammer 6 1, Century 4, you're all one friendly, one bandit. Altitude. Altitude. Century 4, Hammer 6 1, declare. Hammer 6 1, Century 4, contact is friendly. Well, there's 18s, F 16s. Well, they just uh, showed up out of nowhere. Alright, good deal.
to rejoin. Hammer, 6-2, on my way. To say fuel state. Two, fuel state, seven, eight. Three, safe fuel state. Three, fuel state, eight, one. Four, fuel state, seven, nine. All right, we're going back in. All right, one's in. Hard time locking up. Dead gun. Sentry four declare. Hammer six one sentry four contact is a bogey. Two say weapon state. Hammer six two. Two rifle. Three heat. Fuel state seven six. Do, do, do. What to do? What to do? Two weapons free ground. Three weapons free ground. Three unable Winchester. Oh, good. Four unable Winchester. Always good. Fly over that too much.
Hammer, 6-2, on my way. Four, in position. Rifle, two times. One's off cold. I'm out of flares. Down low, asking for it. One Maverick left. Three flex. said but okay all right there we go one's in one rifle left One's off east. Caution. Caution. Alright, cat one. And let's get up out of here. Bunch of fire out there. So we've expended all of our weaponry. Sentry 4, Hammer 6, Dakota. Miller time. We will head up here to 7. Right there. 
climb up out of here. I'd say it's a fairly good night of air interdiction. Seem to be doing all the good there. All right, so maybe that slowed them down from sneaking up behind my guys. Who are now plowing their way towards Seoul. All right. Fives. That's the first time I've seen that. Hmm. Interesting. Then let us get out of here. Oh, 29's coming in behind us too. Finished up in time. Flight fence out. Two. Three. No idea where they are. Four. Goblin, seven, airborne, two ship, eight tens, one thousand. Goblin, seven, Gongshan, departure, depart heading, one, two, zero, resume all navigation. Hammer, six, one, by present heading, three thousand, maintain two, five, zero knots, vectors to right base. Turn left heading 175, hold 4000, vectors to right base, runway 36. Here comes 3000. Hammer 61, turn right heading 280, 2000, maintain 230 knots, vectors to final. Turn in right base. Hammer 63, fly heading 175, hold 4000, maintain 250 knots, vectors to right base. Hammer 64, turn left heading 175, hold 4000, vectors to right base. Here comes two. Close, Nikes are lit up. Hammer 62, by present heading, descend to 3000, runway 36. Hammer 61, turn right to final approach course 355, check speed. Hammer 61, contact tower on final, switch to 29230. Here. Hammer 61, push tower. Hammer 63, fly heading 18. level so it gets there. Goons on tower, hammer 6-1. 
Request landing. Hammer, 6-1, Kuhn-San Tower, continue inbound 4, runway 36. Hammer, 6-1, Kuhn Son Tower, wing 340, at 5 knots, runway 36, cleared for landing, check gear down. At 3 green, Hammer 6, cleared for landing, runway 36. Son Tower, continue inbound 4, runway 36. Hammer, 6-3, on final. Hammer, 6-3, Kuhn Son Tower, continue inbound 4, runway 36. Son Tower, continue inbound 4, runway 36. Hammer, 6-2, Kuhn Son Tower, wing 340, at 6 knots, runway 36, cleared for landing, check gear down. Hammer 61 clearing active right. Taxi Echo. Hammer 61 contact low. Switch to 73525. Push ground. Hammer 63 Kunsan Tower. Wing 340 at 5 knots. Runway. Kunsan ground. Hammer 61. Request taxi back to ramp. Hammer 61, taxi back to the ramp. Echo, Papa, Charlie, 04. Uh, Hammer 61, taxi, Echo, Charlie, 04. The Echo, Papa, Charlie, 04. Where 04 is, I guess. Five, five, four. That's good. Well, Mustang got shot out of the sky by something. No telling. MiG 19s. Wow. And they had spares. So the uh, Element guys are pretty lame. Oh, Marty McFly there. Got six hits. Shot one sidewinder and missed. Uh, well. All right. Well, that was a good little, uh, a little hop there, a little jaunt. Uh, definitely got some uh, bad guys everywhere now.
Oh yeah. Let's see what happened here. Got an upgrade. Well, so a little recap. We did a little uh, package creation here. Kind of give everybody an idea of how an easy one here. Uh, you could do a lot more elaborate things. But uh, we went out here and we found some targets. Deployed some weapons. Came home safe. Can't say that much for the Mustang flight. So right now I'll go ahead and schedule up some bar caps to fill in the time here until I figure out what else I'm going to do. Uh, definitely got some stuff going on over here that we need to worry about because our guys are pushing up. Definitely one's already crept up here north of the plot. So that's good. Make a little headway. So thanks again for joining, and I hope you learned something. Uh, see you next time.